let's talk about how the process is the gift. So a lot of times we treat the process as if it's a means to an end, right? I got to go through this to get to this. But what I've learned about life, about leadership, about your purpose is that the process is not a means to an end. It's a gift in itself. Check it out. Hey, what's up, my friends? It's Daryl Stinson. I'm a former Division One athlete and a two-time TEDx speaker. And today's video is about how the process is not just a means to an end. It's actually a gift in itself. And so if you're a public speaker and you're looking for ways to grow your public speaking business, or you just know that communication is important and want to use it to better your marriage, to uh, do better toasts, to be funnier, to make better presentations at work, whatever your motivation is, or if you just rock with me because you, you share the common belief that I have that we live in a world of abundance, that there's more than enough joy, peace, love, generosity to go around, that no one should live in lack unless they so desire. So if you align with that or you're a speaker or if any or any of those boxes are checked for you, I want you to subscribe to this channel, turn on that notification bell so that you get notified every time where we release a new video every single week about public speaking or living the abundant life. All right, let's get into today's topic. So we treat the process as if it's a means to an end rather than a gift in itself. In other words, I hear a lot of people talking about what they want, right? They want this dream house. They want this dream career. They want this dream relationship. But the process that it takes to get there, they're extremely frustrated by. Like, like, like we want to upgrade our life, like we upgrade our cell phone, and it just doesn't work that way. And I know you know this, but follow me here. Because what frustrates me about this is that not only do we not enjoy the process, but we resent it. OK, like I get like no one likes really to work out and and but everybody likes the result of it. But but to resent it, to get to the point where you're pushing it away. No, I don't want to go to the gym. And so I'm not going to go to the gym or no, I don't want to have to uh, date and get my heart broken and date and get my heart broken to find that right person. No, I don't want to have to like uh, uh, send emails and go to networking events just to get a speaking opportunity. I just rather get up there and speak, you know, like I don't, I, I, I resent the process so much that I don't have the internal dialogue with myself to counsel myself into obeying and cooperating with the process and seeing the beauty in the process. Right. So not resenting like, OK, I'm going to go through this just so I can have bigger muscles. How about I'm going to enjoy this? I'm going to participate in the process with the perspective that there is purpose in my process, that the process will give to me something that I didn't have prior to the process. So in other words, it's good for me that it's taking longer than I expected. It's good for me that it's not easy because when I hit real life adversity or when that thing counters trials or obstacles or resistance, then I have the work put in. I have been through the process and I, and I love that just as much as I love the end. And there's a way we can do this without guilt tripping ourselves. So I, I hope you hear that in what I'm saying. I'm not telling you, beat yourself up. You ought to be grateful. You know what I mean? People have it worse. People would, I used to tell myself all the time, people would win with the hand that you were dealt, Daryl. You know, like just beat myself up to motivate myself. Like that's not the motivation I'm trying to give to you right now. That's not the motivation that I'm telling you to have. That's not even motivating. I'm not telling you to be afraid of missing it or I'm not telling you to beat yourself up because you should be more grateful and you should be happy. And you should be winning right now. That's not what I'm telling you. What I'm telling you is that the process is a gift and you don't have to resent it. You can look forward to it. God, what am I going to learn today? What are you going to give to me today that I didn't have yesterday? Oh, I got rejected on that sales call. Well, now I recognize that rejection has nothing to do with my value. So I learned something in process so that when I'm given a big platform 
and somebody has something negative to say, or somebody doesn't invite me to the VIP section, that I don't internalize that and feel rejected because I recognize my value does not come from other people's opinion. I learned that in process. If I would have just skipped to big platform, I wouldn't have learned the lesson. Today is a gift. So I, I really want us to get this. I want to ask you a question. How would your life, how would your energy change if you started enjoying looking for the good in your process versus resenting wanting it to be over so that you can? How would your life change if you made that shift? Would you be happier because you're no longer delaying your happiness till you reach some goal? Because you realize that in pursuit of the goal, today is a gift. That if your goal is to run a marathon, and I said run it today, and you haven't trained, your muscles aren't even big enough for a marathon. They're not strong enough. They don't have the endurance but in practicing every day and in running and, and following a, a regimen, like your, your muscles develop the strength that they need to run and achieve the goal that you have. And so every day that you showed up and worked out, it was a gift to yourself. It was a gift to your goal. It's the same way with you and your business and your life and your relationships. Every day you show up, every day you have a difficult conversation, every day you choose to still lead generate, every day you still choose to show up on social media, every day you choose to show up and do the work. When you do that, you are giving yourself a gift. So just think about that. If I took a gift of any kind of value, I don't care. You know, we, we we just like getting stuff, you know? That's why we do Secret Santa and put like $15 limit because little stuff can make us happy, right? Or $5 limit if you're struggling. You're like, whatever, you know? And and we love gifts. If I, if I gave you a gift and it had great value, when our most valuable gift is our time, if I give you a, a gift and I, and I gave it to you, I said, here you go, here you go, here's your gift, here's your gift. And you're like, mm, I don't want this gift because I'm waiting, I'm waiting to Christmas till I get more gifts. <laughs> it's like your Christmas gifts are good too, but what's wrong with today's gift? It's a free gift. Especially if I give you a TV stand that your new TV going to go on. Or if I give you a video game today, your video game console, and then you get a video game on Christmas. Now you got something to play a video game with like that. That mindset is what I'm trying to get you to see is that today is a gift. And how would your energy change if you believe that how would your self-talk change how would your mondays when you dread getting up and going how would that change if you said you know what i might not like it right now but the more that i learn it the more that i'll like it i might not like sales right now i might not like legion right now i might not like cold outreach right now i might not like this aspect of my life i might not like the stage that my children are in i might not like it but i'm gonna learn 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 it i'm gonna learn how to be a better parent i'm gonna learn how to be a better speaker and the more competent i become the more confident i become the more i learn a thing usually the more that i like the thing oh i get it now i gotta lead my kids this way in this in this stage oh i get it right now i gotta get my finances in order before i can expand oh i get it now i gotta learn how to believe in myself before i get that big opportunity to speak because when i get that big opportunity to speak it's the self-belief the I'll be passing on to other people because you cannot give what you do not have. The process. It's a gift. The process isn't just necessary. It's desired. So the next prayer you pray, don't thank God just when you get to the promise. Thank God when he starts the process. Do not despise the days of small beginnings because the Lord rejoices to see the work begin. All right, I hope you enjoyed that. I wanted to give you a little bit of motivation and some perspective to help you recognize that today 
is the gift you've been waiting for. If you like this, just go ahead and comment, share with other people. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you're a speaker and you want to network with other speakers, you want a safe space to practice your gift. If you want exercises and free speaking leads, make sure you join my Speaking Made Profitable Facebook group. We do bonus training sessions in there and just add a ton of value because I believe the more good we put out there in the world, the more we open ourselves to receive the good that the world has for us. All right, so make sure you connect with us. And I love you guys. Can't wait. See you next week. Peace.